boy do I have a story for you. So, this is some old news, but if you guys don't know, YouTube decided to take away the dislike button, and uh, I, I, I wonder why. But totally not, because, you know, they had their YouTube rewinds become the worst fucking thing on YouTube. Uh, no, not because of that. No, no, no. But yes, unfortunately, that is probably the reason. However, I kind of wanted to let this raid, wa um, this wave ride itself because um, this is going to be a longer video. I'm definitely going to be ranting about a lot of stuff. So the biggest thing that I was hesitant about was how other social media has handled something such as like, or should I say, uh, dislikes. So for example, um, Twitter does not have uh, dislikes, and that runs pretty okay. Let me take that one back. It's been okay. It's been successful, okay. But there's still a lot of drama and whatnot. Um, but that turned out and um, also TikTok does the same thing, right? There's no dislike button and a lot of people were thinking that's probably, you know, something that indicates, you know, it might be a better way to relieve toxicity and a lot of people just jumping on a video and bandwagoning like, oh, I'm just going to start disliking and screw the suit. So let's get a bunch of my friends and dislike, right? Um, that might be a way to combat that. That's what some people were speculating. And that's also what YouTube said, which I don't believe a word what YouTube says. I'm sorry, I don't believe anything. However, I had a speculation things would turn horrible the moment this happened. And um, even though I do try to keep my eyes open to this stuff, I, I do know when stuff's about to hit the fan. And this was definitely one of those moments. I believe that YouTube has messed up a lot. And I think YouTube is really terrible for taking responsibility for their actions. I think they are, um, honestly, they're, they're kind of scummy for doing it. That's why I've um, honestly not really supported YouTube as much as I used to because I used to think YouTube is a great place I used to think it was an amazing um, platform to work on but now I think otherwise just because of how scummy and pathetic they are and I don't want to be seen in that limelight and honestly I don't blame people for being kind of scared of YouTube at this point either because before I get into anything else th there's a lot of hypocrisy here it's like you know oh you got to be careful about um, really people getting offended or scared about uh, you know dislikes um, which you also got to be way more scared of anything of just YouTube randomly dropping a fucking claim on your video or just deleting your channel because they won't give you a notice. It's just like, Bob, bitch. So that, that very much irritates me. But getting the same limelight, essentially what bothers me about this is um, nobody really sees the good things about um, the dislike button until you actually do kind of reach, I would say, a, a larger marker. I would say around the 1000 marker. Or even at, like a time period of like videos, right? It doesn't even matter how many subs you got. Really, it's just how many people watch your videos and how many times you throw a video out there and you get the feel for it. You start to understand that dislikes are a good thing. Because even though it can be bad, you know, it's not like inherently a good thing to see a dislike, right? You can take it and make it a good thing. Um, it's like a lot of people see failures as a bad, like, you know, state of being like, oh, you're a failure if you mess up. And failure is not a person. It is a state. It is... Something that can be transformed over and over and over again. And that's what's good about it because it's a stepping stone. People that chase failure always succeed. At least I think so unless they give up. Which is what you really don't want. And we're starting to enter an era where it's like, honestly, it's very weak-minded. Because people are not opening up their mind to like, okay, a dislike actually means these people don't like this kind of video. So, what's different from this? Or what did I do wrong in this video that I can fix? For example, a lot of videos that I messed up on in the past, I took from those dislikes and I fixed them in the future. For example, um, I'll actually show you one right now on um, that just, there's no dislikes on anymore, but I'll explain it to you. So it was called Outlast and Multiplayer. And um, I wasn't inherently lying at the time. And I didn't I didn't even think I, like, you know, I didn't mean any uh, mouse behind the video. Um, but essentially it was me playing um, Slender Fortress, which is a TF2 game. However, um, in Slender Fortress, you can go against various enemies and um, they're from other games. Right, essentially it's slender, but you're playing against scary, different, obscure enemies. Like you can run away from Shrek, right? And one of them was Outlast, right? And you could run away from like Chris Walker, um, whatever the, those people. And um, I thought it was a pretty good video. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, however, because it wasn't literally Outlast, people kind of got the wrong idea. Um, and I could I could totally understand that. I could totally see why people would get mad at that. And from that point onward, um, I probably saw that more as um, I would say accidental clickbait. Uh, cl <laughs> accidental clickbait. <laughs> I can't fucking read. Anyways, though, but that's my um, that's what I messed up with, and I know that now, and you know, I I move forward with that. But um, that's what you gotta really look out for, and that's why I like dislikes because it's a stepping stone. It's something that can move you forward on your journey. Um, and now essentially what these likes are, because there's no comparison, there's no ratio for you to say like, oh, maybe this is a good video, maybe it's not. Um, there's no room for you to grow. 
I mean, like, sure, you could argue that, like, you know, you got that little Indonesian video in the back that's like, Hello, today I will be showing off my PC review, and it's like him reviewing a toaster. It's like, you know, if you have a bad video like that to avoid it, and it's like, you know, like 10% likes, like, obviously, that's another reason why dislikes and likes are good. But that's not what I'm trying to hit here. The main point that I'm trying to hit is basically I don't want there to be this state of um, fear between adversity. Like, people are almost very, um, they're always scared of criticism nowadays, and I, I think that's a very toxic trait. Um, especially since people um, are almost always neglecting the positives of something, right? They're, they're never looking at two sides of the camera. In almost anything in life, there's always this gray area, and you can't make things black or white, right? And then you'll see this all the time with, with politics. Um, you see it all the time with even just simple, like, um, topics and games, right? It's just like, it, it's always something where it's like, okay, either it's good or it's bad, and you can't look that way. You can't, you can't do that. Now, I'm going to try my best to hit on two more topics, but one of them is obviously of the fact that YouTube is very corporate now. All the people that have had the most dislikes are essentially corporate. They're, they're all businesses, big mainstream businesses. And I think it speaks volumes to the fact that essentially what they're doing, in my opinion, is they're censoring you. The one way that you can truly make a difference and show that you don't like what someone else says, that's a big company, is by disliking it. And now that you can't do that, what they're doing is essentially censoring you from being able to voice your opinion, actually show that this company is maybe not the best, maybe corrupt, maybe they can do better on something, right? No, no, they don't want to do that. They don't want to let you actually have a voice to like fix that shit. Because again, it comes down to responsibility. They don't want to take this shit and it's very irritating to me. The greats, in my opinion, are always people that um, are able to like, you know, bear shit on themselves and, uh, you know, grow even if it is unfair criticism, right? They're able to grow from that stuff. And looking at YouTube and all these other corporations taking a, like, you know, advantage of this stuff, it's, it's sickening. It's a joke. So one final thing is, um, I've been looking at, um, again, examples then of, um, like more, I would say real world, um, smaller channels. And what I've noticed is most people, the reaction to this is it's good, right? Oh, this is so good. Now, now I can't have toxic people disliking my video. And oh, this is great. Now, now I'll have a great ratio on my videos. And I don't know how much of the algorithm it works with, but I know it's a bit. The good thing about this, or at least the bad thing about this, I should say my bad. The good thing about likes though is the ratio showed if your essentially your channel is credible. If someone's posting videos that are a minute long and it's like, oh, sick new movie trailer and there's no movie trailer, it's just a blank screen, you won't know anymore. You won't know if this channel's good or not. Meaning, they can bank on clickbaity channels, which is something that you don't want. You don't want someone to clickbait. You don't want someone to make shitty videos. You want quality. You want something that, you know, it's actually going to, like, you know, make the channel great and grow and um, beyond comprehension, right? Um, and I think the day and age of greatness when it came to YouTube has definitely passed, which is um, sad to admit. But I'll give you a story of a uh, YouTuber I saw. And um, this might be a little triggering to you guys, so um, forgive me. But I, I feel like this is um, something I had to say. And if I don't, I will um, feel very... I feel like I'm going to be lying to you guys if I don't completely give you the whole story here. So there's this Dead by Daylight YouTuber. And I like watching him. Uh, I'm not going to give out his name because I don't want to like cause drama, but essentially he, um, I asked him about the likes and dislikes thing on, uh, one of his live streams on YouTube, right? And, um, he responded in a way that I really didn't like. And, um, again, I think it shows the, the state of, um, I guess YouTube at the moment. And remember, this is a, li this is a bigger, um, YouTuber. He, he's around the higher thousands, let's say that, right? He's not at a million, but he's definitely the higher thousands. Um, but basically... He's done YouTube for quite a bit. He's been doing um, Dead by Daily, and he said there was a video he made, and um, it had I think it was around like a 10% like rate or a 20% like rate, which is horrible, by the way, which is horrible, meaning essentially more than half of everyone watching disliked. That's horrible. That means their video is shit. He said because the video touched um, various topics about Dead by Daily um, and the LGBT community. Um, that everyone that disliked was just homophobic and um that just you know ruined his video that's the only reason people disliked 
and now that there's nobody nobody to dislike, um, it, it stops all the homo homophobic people from from disliking. You stopped racism, buddy. <laughs> Fuck. But more or less, what what happened is um. Again, he didn't take the criticism, in my opinion, the right way. And there's no way in hell that more than half of people, especially in a game like Dead by Daily, which is very LGBTQ positive, that more than half of those fucking people, to a 20 fucking percent like rate, disliked. What he probably said in that video, and I didn't find it, um, was probably along the lines of just um, criticizing in a wrong way of the LGBT. Or maybe adding in a character needlessly related to such thing, right? He doesn't actually take in the criticism. And if it is homophobia, how can you make it so that even those people can get into your video? Because that's what you gotta look out for. And this is what people don't understand. You're a content creator. And you gotta be able to influence no matter who your audience is. Because you don't know who it's gonna be. And you gotta be able to fix, even even if it's a flawed mindset, you be able to fix that and hone them into your mindset. And um, sometimes you also gotta admit that your mindset might not be right, right? Um, and that's what it's all about with YouTube. Trial and error, trial and error, and fixing that. But I'm not saying homophobia is like fucking good in the first place. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm just saying that the fact that you got fucking more than 50 people disliking his video is pretty fucked up. Especially if you're starting to blame everyone else. Like, like are you trying to tell me that like over probably a hundred thousand people that watch the same fucking video are homophobic? Like, you're, are you really trying to tell me that on fucking YouTube? Like, like really, bro? But, um, yeah, so that, that was, um, what really shed a light to me because it's like you're not looking in the right area what you're doing is you're narrow-minding oh this is bad because negative means bad and it's not bad right um so i think youtube needs to learn from this i think a lot of new content creators or maybe not so open-minded content creators they really need to learn this and realize that out of everything that's bad you can get something good one thing i really fucking hate is forced positivity like dude when it comes to forced positivity like you know I think it's really horrible. I remember in high school people do this all the time where it's like, you're doing so good, you're doing great, and unless you really mean it, you're being a fucking dick. Like, if I'm doing shit at something, I want you to tell me. Don't be like, oh, you're a fucking piece of you suck. But I do want you to tell me, hey, maybe you can fix this by doing blah, blah, blah. Because right now, it's not working for you. And what? guess what? Next day, I'm probably gonna do a thousand times better because I know what I need to hone down on. And if it doesn't come out right, whatever. But at least I know. Let's have a knowledge of what you're actually thinking instead of living in this fake fantasy. My final note is actually going to be um, something from a uh, person I watch called Jocko Wilkin. I fucking love this dude. But basically, um, one thing he says about um, adversity and hardships, and I think this comes from um, not really this topic, but it can definitely be applied. And that's why I want to say it is whenever you do have adversity or something bad that happens, you got to take it as a good thing. Even if it's horrible, even if it's terrible, you gotta find the good in it. Because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to move forward. You're not gonna be able to hone back down on the path that you know is right towards reaching your goal. And in this case, it comes to content creators that, you know, if you wanna reach your goal of doing YouTube, you gotta be able to just, okay, um, this is gonna cost me a hundred bucks? Fine, I'm gonna make a hundred bucks by doing YouTube. Here we go, you know, um, a thousand people dislike this video, good. Now I know what I, not, I shouldn't do for a video or what I can maybe work on, right? Maybe those 1,000 people now become likes in the next video, right? Um, if I don't upload a video that gets 1,000 views, good. That means next time, I can. You gotta look at it these ways because if you don't, you're gonna suck into this shithole. And that's what, honestly, the world wants you to do nowadays. A lot of people aren't gonna help you up. And if you have this mindset, even if you don't succeed, I promise you, at least some people are gonna wanna help you in your journey. And that makes all the difference in the end. So, uh, yeah. So this is a longer video, guys. I had to just touch this topic. I just, I, it gets me really irritated. I think another person that um, touched on it very well was PewDiePie. Um, there's also a few others, like, uh, I think, I think, Mo nah, I don't like how Moist did it, actually, but, um, PewDiePie did a very good job explaining this. Um, but this is my take. I thought I want to get a little more deep in it and maybe a little bit more touchy because I know since I'm a smaller creator, I can actually do that. Um, but... Um, in the end, guys, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Um, hey, I, I, you guys like my Christmas tree? I got, I got a little, little Christmas tree right there. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was really good. Um, I have a few announcements, though. So, if you haven't already, please 
check out the Twitch. I stream almost every day at 7 p.m. However, I will be doing a live stream tonight on YouTube, and it's going to be a longer one. So hopefully we can get a ton of um, support on that because I have a, um, a secret plan. Also, I've been trying to save up for a massive um, PC so I can get a new one for um, the streams because the PC I have right now really isn't the best. It's about eight years old. <laughs> Um, which is not good for streaming and um, it's really been back backing up videos it's really been backing up streams for example like doing a video like this even though it's only like 50 minutes long takes me about two to three hours which it should not um and that's just because of how slow my pc is at processing and uploading stuff so um if you guys could please check out the paypal below if you guys can if you guys don't then don't worry about it if you get done donate yes all that will be going towards the new pc i'm getting but with all that same being said i want you guys to just remember smile keep right up and uh so you guys think in the comments because I mean that's all we really got for uh, harsh criticism and um, let me know what you guys think so um, remember guys to fight for your future so bright it's too much for your eyes and uh, I'll see you guys next video bye guys whoop